Verizon Wireless, the largest mobile operator in the U.S., has finally joined the GSM Association as more telcos align their 4G strategies. The CDMA1 Pioneer is well on its way to migrating its network to LTE and already has customer trials in operation. We're looking at 25 to 30 markets uh, this year. That will cover about 100 million pops, which is uh, roughly one-third of the pops inside the U.S. And uh, for once here, we can actually say that we have a spectrum, a uh, single spectrum covering the entire country. Um, so as a result, we, we feel very comfortable um, that those uh, 25 to 30 markets will be readily doable to achieve the 100 million pops. Um, as far as the number of devices are concerned, we're, we're looking probably at between 8 and 10 right now. Clearly the first devices out the door should not be a surprise to anybody, but they will in fact be dongles. Skype this week announced a strategic relationship with Verizon Wireless that will bring the voice over IP service to US smartphones in March. The CMO of Verizon Wireless said that the two partners had been working on the project for almost a year. It is indeed an application that's been built collaboratively between Verizon and uh, Skype from the ground up to enable an application that will enable Skype users uh, anywhere in the world, excuse me, Verizon customers to contact Skype users anywhere in the world. So at any time they can make and receive calls to and from Skype users um, from that great, incredibly robust international calling community. We spent a lot of money and time on this. Um, we came up with the name Skype Mobile. So, uh, so that was, uh, that's the name. It's an always-on application. So because the PDAs, or excuse me, the smartphones have the ability to multitask, to run simultaneous apps, um, this app always runs in the background. Now that's important. Our, our first uh, launch of the service will be across nine different devices. Uh, that'll be uh, Blackberries, um, all of our best-selling Blackberry products, so the Storm 1 and 2. Mobile operators are beginning to change their attitude towards internet voice providers and have gone from blocking services to adopting a more managed approach. Earlier today, I spoke with Skype's general manager for mobile and asked him if mobile operators had, at last, come to terms with third-party VoIP services. We've got over half a billion users, registered users around the world. So we have a really great customer base. Many of those customers are saying to us and saying to the carriers, they'd love to use Skype on their mobile. They have a great desktop experience. How do we bring it into the, into the mobile space? Our announcement with Verizon yesterday is another big milestone that says, look, you know, Skype is, is really not a, a threat to the, to the carriers. We can work in partnership and make it a win-win scenario.